this Caravaggio's painting made everyone outraged. Why? Because the model used to depict the Virgin Mary was a prostitute. Why did Caravaggio use a prostitute to depict the Virgin Mary? In this episode, we will try to answer these and other questions. The background. When he painted the death of the Virgin between 1604 to 1606, Caravaggio had been working in Rome for 15 years. The painting was commissioned by Laertio Cherubini, a papal lawyer, for his chapel in the Carmelite Church of Santa Maria della Scala in Trastevere, Rome. The depiction of the death of the Virgin caused a contemporary stir and was rejected as unfit by the parish. Was the painting rejected because they understood that the model was a prostitute or for some other reason? Before answering this question, let's take a look at the composition. The composition is arranged around the Virgin, the painting's central theme. Surrounding the Virgin are overcome Mary Magdalene and the Apostles, others shuffle in behind them. The compact mass of the assemblage and the posturing of the figures guide the viewer's eye towards the abandoned body. He expresses the greater grief of the former not by a more emotive face, but by hiding their faces. Caravaggio, master of stark and dark canvases, is not interested in a manierist exercise that captures a range of emotions. In some ways, this is a silent grief. This is not wake for wailers. The sobbing occurs in faceless emotional silence. The holiness of the Virgin is discerned by her thread-like halo. Suppressing all anecdotal detail, Caravaggio invests this subdued scene with extraordinary monumentality through the sole presence of these figures and the intensity of their emotions. The theatrical drape of blood-red cloth looms in the upper portion of the canvas a common motif in the deposition painting, here used to heighten the scene's dramatic effect. The painter makes use of the nuances of light and shadow to model the volumes of the objects, figures and clothing. But above all, he accentuates through this process the physical presence of the Virgin. Struck by a dazzling light, the artist creates the illusion of depth through a series of lighter areas. From the back of the Mary Magdalene's neck in the foreground, the eye penetrates further into the painting, passing from Mary's face to the hands and heads of the apostles. The painting. A soft light falls from high up on the left onto a scene of death. The death woman at the center is surrounded by mourners. Caravaggio follows the tradition that the apostles who were dispersed in preaching the Gospels were transported miraculously to her deathbed. There is a woman on the lower right who weeps, her face hidden in grief. There is a copper bowl at her feet, as if to wash the corpse. She resembles Mary Magdalene. Similarly, the figure standing on the left is probably St. Peter. Next to him, the kneeling apostle may be St. Andrew. Just behind him, the figure whose right hand is raised might be St. Paul. The man with his fists on his eyes may be St. Matthew, and the standing figure on the right, St. John. The more you look at these figures, the more you sense their profound grief. Very often, Caravaggio used hands to give expression to what a character was feeling. The raised hand of St. Paul may represent a call of silence. There is certainly a sense of stillness as the light falls on the dead virgin. She looks stiff with her outstretched feet, but her face is at peace and although its parlor is that of death, she might be asleep. Nobody has laid the hands upon her chest as you normally would. The realism is surely unprecedented. It is as if she has just died. The apostles' feet are bare, but they are heavily clad. The weight of their garments seems to add to their overwhelming grief and gives them a timeless monumentality. The strange silence when her breath can no longer be heard. This is surely the point of St. Paul's raised hand, the Assumption of Mary. This painting was completed at a time when the dogma of the Assumption of Mary was not yet formally defined. The New Testament makes no mention at all of whether Mary was absolved into heaven when dead or if she ascended to a state of health then alive, as is shown in the great majority of contemporary paintings of the subject. At that point, most believed that she felt no pain or disease, 
and that she was assumed to be in a healthy body and soul even as she aged prior to death. Caravaggio's painting is the last major Catholic artwork in which Mary is clearly dead. The figure, like that of nearly all Renaissance and Baroque assumptions, looks much younger than a woman of about 50 or older. Caravaggio's Revolution this painting illustrates the iconographic and formal revolution that Caravaggio instigated in the late 16th and early 17th centuries. Distancing himself from the preacher's affected mannerist vogue, the artist inaugurated a frank, robust, energetic style. He took on the task of translating people's reality and emotions without worrying about the conventions of representation of the sacred. His impact on the evolution of pictorial conception in the 17th century was considerable. The Prostitute To understand why this painting was rejected by the church, we have to talk about Caravaggio lifestyle, a particularly relentless soul. Caravaggio drew his inspiration from the slums and margins of society. In Caravaggio's canvases, outcasts became adoring pilgrims with dirty feet. Red-haired prostitutes transformed into saints and madonnas, while thieves and brawlers portrayed as guards and soldiers. Through the contrast of light and shadow, Caravaggio overturned the social order and scandalized his contemporaries, dominated by the moralistic ideology of the Counter-Reformation. When Caravaggio was in Rome, he became involved with two famous and beautiful prostitutes, Annuccia and Filide. Anna was petite with beautiful long red hair, and we can still admire her today in the Pentita Magdalene. A citation from the police reports, on the other hand, gives us an idea of Filide's liveliness. Through the story of a prostitute who denounced her, Filide came to me with a knife to disfigure me and came up to my face. I tried to push her away. She hit my wrist. That's right, in this position with the knife in her hand, the blonde Filide was portrayed by Caravaggio in the painting Judith and Holofernes. Caravaggio probably used a prostitute in the painting The Death of the Virgin, as we have seen he often did. It may seem bizarre, but it didn't cause a stir for this reason. I want to remember that the painting represents the assumption of Mary into heaven. Although it is the mother of Jesus, it doesn't seem that Caravaggio has taken into account the iconic character. In fact, he represented her death like that of any slum person. Mary lies reclined, clad in a simple red dress, her lolling head, her hanging arm, and her swollen, spread feet depict a raw and realistic view of the Virgin's mortal remains of her. Caravaggio completely abandons the iconography traditionally used to indicate the holiness of the Virgin. In this cast-off body, nothing of the respectful representation found in devotional paintings remains. Mary has always been depicted in a respectful and almost divine manner over the centuries, but Caravaggio had a different view of biblical events. This made him a much talked about artist at the time and today he is one of the greatest Italian artists.